In this tip of the week, we will look at how to access and review Turnitin originality reports through the SpeedGrader. When you are in the gradebook or viewing assignment details in SpeedGrader, you will see the Turnitin originality report icon appear for each submitted Turnitin assignment. The color of the icon indicates the similarity score of the paper based on the amount of matching or similar text that was uncovered from 0 to 100%. Blue indicates no matching text. Green indicates a match of one word to 24% matching text. Yellow indicates 25 to 49% matching text. Orange indicates 50 to 74% matching text. And red indicates 75 to 100% matching text. A grayed out icon or a clock icon indicates that the originality report is still being generated. You can access SpeedGrader for an assignment from multiple places within my classes. You can choose to start in the gradebook to see a list of originality icons to look for red or orange results. In the gradebook, when you click on the similarity score icon within the cell for that student's submission, the more details icon will appear in its place. Click on it and the grade details tray for that submission will open. Click the link to SpeedGrader to be taken to that student's submission details. You can also get to SpeedGrader by clicking on the assignment from anywhere in the course, then clicking the link to SpeedGrader to be taken to submission details. Once you are in SpeedGrader, you can access the originality report by clicking the similarity score next to the document name. This will open the originality report in Turnitin Feedback Studio. When in the Feedback Studio, the red menu items indicate viewing options related to the originality report. If you click the similarity score, you will see a match overview defaulting to the resource with the highest percent match. The bar graph icon indicates a cascading list of all sources that were matched with the highest matching percent at the top, then listing lower percent matches in descending order. From here, you can choose to exclude one or more matches from the results. When you click exclude from any of the checkboxed sources, the originality report score will recalculate to ignore all of the excluded matches. The funnel icon indicates filters you can apply to exclude particular match types, such as those cited in the bibliography, quotes, and a specific word count or percent of the overall score. You can choose to generate a new report once you apply these filters, but you will get a warning message that the report will be unavailable while it is being refreshed. If you chose to exclude sources from the overall originality score, you can click on the interdictory circle to review excluded matches and restore them if desired. Once again, the originality report score will recalculate to include restored matches. The purple menu includes an ETS button that shows E-Rater results. You can use this menu to turn on and off automated comments related to grammar, mechanics, style, usage, and spelling. The blue menu offers grading and feedback options, but ID&D recommends grading and including feedback in SpeedGrader so that students can easily see feedback within my classes. You can also download either the original Turnitin submission or the originality report attached to that submission. To do so, click the gray down arrow and you will get a pop-up menu of download options. You can download the originally submitted file, a digital receipt of when the assignment was submitted, or select the current view option to download the submission with the originality report attached to it. Faculty and students have the same download options from this menu, so if you have given students permission to view the originality report, they can download a summary of the report as well. If a student resubmits a submission to a Turnitin assignment using the Turnitin plagiarism framework within my classes, the student's resubmission will not compare against its original submission. You can tell that there is a resubmission because there is a drop-down menu for you to go back and look at all previous submissions. You will notice that every version of the resubmission includes the originality report for that submission, as well as a note that this is not the most recent submission. For each resubmission.docx file that has been resubmitted, the originality report remains 0%. Therefore, students can resubmit an assignment without Turnitin flagging at a 100% match. However, you will want to make sure you are grading the most recent submission 
or the last one in the drop down menu, since this is the only grade that will filter into the grade book. The grade book will ignore all previous submission attempts and only recognize the last submission as the official submission for the assignment. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please review the following resources.